All right, so BOD notes. Uh, if you're taking the grade three by now, I hope you know that BOD stands for biochemical oxygen demand. And here's how BOD works. So the sample must be incubated at 20 degrees Celsius for five days before reading. You read an initial DO, incubate for 20 days, and then you read a final DO. And uh, that's the DO depletion that you're gonna be using in your BOD. Uh, you have a sample blank. A sample blank is strictly DI water. They wanna make sure that your DI water doesn't um, deplete uh, doesn't deplete more than 0.2 milligrams per liter because if it is, if it does deplete by more than that, uh, your whole entire test is invalid because your uh, DI water, your dilution water, is a not good dilution water. It actually has something in there that's consuming BOD, so that would um, alter your final results. So sample blank DO at the end of the five days cannot deplete by more than 0.2 milligrams per liter. That's a rule. They'll give you sample blank, initial DO and final DO, and if it's depleted by more than 0.2, the entire test is invalid and you cannot perform the test. Uh, sample DO, so your actual samples, at the end of the five day incubation must be greater than or equal to one milligram per liter. So final DO, you've incubated it for five days, you pull it out, you read the DO, if it is less than one milligram per liter, you cannot use that sample. You can use other samples if they, if they are, uh, if they do meet this rule, but this sample, if that's the results you get, invalid sample, throw that sample out, you can't use it at all. Um, if your sample DO depletion at the end of the five day incubation must be greater than or equal to two. So the sample must at least deplete by two. So final DO must be greater than or equal to one, and sample depletion must be greater than or equal to two. If either of these are not met, the sample is invalid and you don't do it. The test isn't invalid, just these samples. The only time the entire test is invalid is if your DO depletes by more than 0.2. And NBOD stands for nitrogenous BOD, so nitrogenous biochemical oxygen demand. And NBOD equals your total BOD minus inhibited BOD. And uh, we're actually going to go over that in a little bit. Uh, so here are the steps to solve a BOD. You have to go in this order or else you're going to screw up. And if you go in this order, everything will work out just fine. So go ahead and check your sample blank DO depletion, the, the sample that is just DI water. If depletion is greater than 0.2, test is invalid. If it is less than or equal to 0.2, proceed to step two. All right, so step two, check your sample DOs. If final DO is less than one, the sample is invalid, not the test, just the sample. If DO depletion is less than two, the sample is invalid, must deplete by more than two, and final DO must be greater than one, greater than or equal to one, and must uh, deplete by um, at least two. So if you don't meet any of these criteria for that individual sample, the sample is invalid. So do this to all of the samples that they have, and then cross out any invalid samples. Do not perform the following steps on the invalid samples. So step three, find the DO depletion of the valid samples by subtracting the final DO from the initial DO. So take your initial, subtract the final, and that's your DO depletion. Find the sample concentration. So how, how concentrated is this sample? by dividing the sample volume by 300. BOD bottles, unless otherwise stated, are 300 mils. So you're taking, so like on an influence sample, you would take about six mils of influence sample and then fill the rest of the bottle up with DI water. You're diluting it because if you just did um, straight influent, uh, the BOD would just be depleted to almost nothing by the end of the, the test. So you need to dilute it a little bit. Um, so that's how you find the sample concentration. Divide the sample volume by 300, and it, it'll be a percentage. 
And then step five is divide the depleted DO. So take your initial, subtract the final, and then divide that number by the sample concentration to obtain the BOD results. So that, that number will be milligrams per liter. And then you find the average of the BOD test by adding all the valid samples together and then divide that number that you get by the number of valid samples. So you'll add sample one plus sample two plus sample three and then divide by three because there were three samples. And then this is the number you would report to the state. So uh, I hope you had paused uh, to write all that down because uh, I might have talked faster than you can write. So now we're actually going to solve a BOD problem.